So this initiative, the Virtual Learning Environment, was um, funded by the London School of Pathology and the main reason for this initiative was we felt there was a huge variation in laboratory training for haematology registrars across the country. Um, there have been numerous factors, you know, which have caused this. So, for example, changing shift path patterns, centralisation of laboratories, and this has been reflected in the FRC pathology exams, um, which is the exit exam for haematology registrars to become consultants. So this was one of the main reasons this initiative was started. So I have a long-standing interest in medical education. So as a medical student, um, my Saturday job was teaching GCSE and o and A-level students, so a group of 10 students at a uh, supplementary education school. So I've always had an interest. And then as a haematology registrar, I've been coordinating the teaching rota for haematology registrars. Um, on a tu every Tuesday, so arranging regular consultant-led teaching for the registrars. And then this outer programme um, came up and so I applied for it and then I've done a six-month post. Just to talk a bit about the actual virtual learning environment. So it has several aspects. So it has an annotated um, image bank with more than 250 images. And so it gives registrars an opportunity for self, you know, self-directed learning. So recognizing key features on blood films, and you know, you have access to this 24/7. Um, so it can complement um, laboratory tr you know, training at the, at their local hospital. The other things we have on there is to help registrars with their on calls when they start haematology. So common diagnostic challenges, what to do in the middle of the night if you you know, you're rung, rung by the lab with a, and you have a patient who has a new, an acute leukaemia. So how to kind of get through those initial on calls, which can be very daunting when you start. Um, the other things is it teaches you basic skills. So for example, how to interpret uh, bone marrow trophine, which is also, you know, something that can come up in the exams as well. So I think the aim of, of this is to co um, complement the curriculum delivery of laboratory training, basically. We have, so we've used the virtual learning um, environment in small group and large group teaching environments. So we have a London training day for haematology registrars where all the uh, registrars attend. And we use this at one of the training days and about 70% of the registrars looked at the cases pre-hand and they found it very useful and they felt the quality of the images was very good and very close to real life and we got very good feedback. I think it will help um, improve confidence amongst registrars in their laboratory skills and as a result this will come across in their, you know, their ability to diagnose and consequently manage patients confidently and safely. So we've had about, at the training day we have 88 um, trainees, of which I think 53 looked at the cases pre-hand. So um, within London we've had a very good uptake um, of haematology trainees using the website and we've got feedback from biomedical scientists as well and they also found it very useful, I think 40 biomedical scientists. So I've just finished this six months um, outer programme. Um, thing. I'm, I'm actually now back on to my clinical job, but I'm hoping when I finish my registrar training, I'll be able to use these skills um, to set up a, you know, an educative program for registrars to complement their day-to-day um, -day clinical practice.